Well, hello, and welcome back to another Chief Architect tutorial. Today, we start a series of videos in which my students will be creating a custom kitchen. So uh, let's go ahead and get started by creating some walls, exterior walls. I'll just make this kitchen um, roughly, let's say 20 by 15. So I click on this wall, change my size to 20 feet. And then my depth will be 15 feet. And then I'm gonna make everything in this area. So I'll zoom in a little bit uh, to get closer to what I want. And the very first thing we're gonna do in this custom kitchen is to create an apron sink or a farmhouse sink. That's what's hot right now in kitchen. So we're gonna definitely wanna know how to do that. I couldn't find very many good sources on how to do this on on the interwebs, so I am creating my own version of this. So I went ahead and made a, start by making a cabinet, a base cabinet that is uh, 24 wide. I will, that's the default. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that cabinet and open it up and we're gonna do some modifications to this cabinet to accept the apron sink. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to change our width because 24 is not nearly big enough. And we're gonna actually reverse those numbers and make it a 42 inch width. I'll tab to go to the next section. And because I'm going to be removing the countertop as part of this process, I'm gonna change that number to 34.5. And I'll leave that at 24 right now. I do wanna uncheck my countertop. And then uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to go into um, this cabinet itself by clicking on components and changing some things so to do that i move my mouse over here to where this picture is and i just click on the picture and it opens up uh these little um different components of the cabinet uh, the one we're going to change today is the drawer so i click on where it says drawer and when i do that you notice that this uh, changes below where it says item type drawer i don't want a drawer there because i'm putting a sink there so i click where it says drawer and i select blank area and then on the height of my blank area, because this is where the sink is going to fit, I'm going to change that from a five inches to a nine inch area, which is what I'm going to need for, um, for my sink to fit in. You notice when I click on another field, it, you should preview the changes there. And that is what we want right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And our next matter of business is to actually find this sink. Now, if you haven't already done so, you're going to want to make sure that you um, update your library catalogs. That's this button down here. I've already done so I don't need to do that. But if you haven't done so, go ahead and do that. The sink I'm using, this apron sink, is kind of a generic one. In fact, I believe I've seen this sink all the way back to at least X9. So when you do this tutorial, it should work for whatever version you're using. I'm going to come up here uh, in the search dialog and I'm going to type in apron. That's all I have to type and it will find me that sink. There are other apron sinks. This tutorial will work for them as well. I'm just going to go ahead and click this apron front sink. And then I'm going to put this sink uh, right here in this cabinet. I'm going to make sure it's centered. So I click on it, hit the little arrows facing towards each other, and then select the cabinet. That makes sure it's centered. Now, it looks like that was really easy and we're done. Well, we're not done. If you go ahead and click on your camera view and create a camera view, what you'll find out is that this sink is just kind of sitting on top of that. Now we don't want that to happen because it looks, looks stupid and it doesn't work. So we need to move it down. So what I'm going to do is a couple things. Number one, I'm going to go ahead and click on my sink. And then if I want to move it down, it won't let you because you're intersecting that object. So you're going to have to hold on the control button. And then we can drag down on the sink. Now, I probably went too far right there, so I'm up a little bit. We want to get kind of right up to the top there, a little bit higher. That's good. And um, then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a custom uh, countertop. I want to make sure my sink is still centered there. So I click on my arrows and there we go, because we did some moving on it. Make sure it stayed there. Okay, there we go. What I want with this thing is I want it to stick out beyond that cabinet. So what I'm going to do, and I want to kind of inset this cabinet, which is kind of a cool look from the other cabinet. So I'm going to click on the cabinet or double click it. And I'm going to change my depth now to 21 inches. And I didn't look like it did anything, but when I hit okay, 
Now you notice your sink will be actually be sticking out of the front of this cabinet, which is what we wanted. The next thing we need to do is put a custom countertop in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my cabinet tools. You'll notice there is a selection for custom countertop, but we wanna be working in the uh, working plan view for this. So um, go to your cabinet tools again, make sure you click, uh, select custom countertop. And then I'm just gonna click and drag a custom countertop. And when I look at it in 3D, you'll notice kitchen countertop or the custom countertop just went right on top of this sink. So we have to do some modifications to it. So we're gonna go back to the working plan view and I'm going to select that countertop. So I click on it and I guarantee you what it did is select the whole cabinet. So get to where we're on the countertop. I click in this bottom left-hand corner and click where it says next. Now we should be on the countertop. And what we want to do is this. We want to break this countertop so that um, we can adjust it around the sink. So there's a little uh, selection down here for um, add break. And we click add break. And I'm going to slide uh, my selection right up here to that countertop. You see it makes a little X right where I want to make that break. And I want to make another break on this other side right here. So I select it. And then that will allow you to take this countertop and just kind of drag it back. And it'll probably give you an error message. Always does. Hit OK. Come back over here. And there you see it. We have our custom countertop done. Our uh, farmhouse sink or apron sink is in there. And uh, then we can go uh, start making our other cabinets since I'm through this process fairly, fairly quickly. I can go ahead and come back out here to working plan view and I can make a, um, a second cabinet uh, over here on the left and one on the right and then kind of get an idea of what this is gonna end up looking like. You see, you have that little inset there. Um, we're going to uh, be working around these cabinets, kind of build the kitchen around this. I wanted to do the apron video first so that uh, I think a lot of people will be looking for that sort of tutorial, so I put that on there so it can be a standalone tutorial like that. But uh, you can see this is kind of where we're going to be going on uh, on this kitchen. Um, so if you want to learn how to do the rest of this, just keep on uh, following the video series. But for everybody else, uh, this is how you make an apron or farmhouse uh, sink cabinet. Um, thanks for watching. Come on back for the rest.